All right, YouTube, we're back again. It's Brian Phillips here. Showing you this log bridge we're trying to make. Of course, it's been warm. It's in December now. There's a house up there. This is our original bridge. There's our second pallet construction bridge. And now we're down to where we've got our logs embedded into the ground on either side. And we have this small problem. <laughs> these bumps right here and high points I mean logs are imperfect they're not dimensional lumber and so we have dimensional lumber that we're going to be using for decking these are two by ten green treated and that way they can come in direct contact with the ground I mean obviously these logs aren't green treated and they're not gonna they're not gonna survive forever but they're very sturdy uh, plenty sturdy to lift up our 1025R which has uh, another 220 pounds of water weight in it, front end loader. And then of course with the ballast box, we're pushing, um, I think it's like 26, 2700 pounds, something like that. I've got the mass somewhere and I forget off the top of my head. What we have to do is we have to go through and figure out where the high points are and we have to eliminate them. I didn't want to have to do that. So obviously we wanted to um, get this crown to go up but it just this log just did not want to stay in that upright configuration it just would not do it so there's just certain spots where it wanted to bite into the ground and stay and so at a certain point we just kind of had to just accept it for what it was it's extremely strong we don't have any concrete in yet but my plan is to work on the high points so I can get the decking down and then when the decking is down then we can go ahead and start dumping in some concrete to kind of uh, hold these logs in place. And that's going to give us a chance to use the bridge and kind of just shore everything up. Um, I may have to cut off this or dig it down a little bit, but as you can see, it's dropped down below quite a bit. Those logs are more as a precautionary measure in the event of a complete failure of either of the either of or all of or one of or whatever of the other logs these logs are incredibly strong i don't know how they're so strong but they're just incredibly strong it's the same material that this is made out of and to be honest with you it's just a you know different type of wood but you can tell this is a softer wood than that i'm not an, an arborist i don't understand the differences between the grains but i can tell you that this log will bear as much weight if not more than both of these and I don't know why that is these two came off of that tree so it's just kind of like a fail safe so again we got to take off this high point here because when you put the logs on there or when you put your decking on there then it just wants to it just wants to teeter so you can kind of tell with that teeter is going to be a real pain and obviously we could probably suck those down with bolts or with screws but it's just not going to be ideal and so the two different ways to handle that would be to dig the middle down more raise up this side or raise up that side and i just don't think we can get away with that i think we're gonna to have to go through and take off some of the peaks and then uh, where there's actually a valley we have some synthetic shims that are gonna blend in nicely with the wood and if that doesn't work then we've got some other some other wood over here in this pile that might work well that vertical stuff you can see it actually came off of this tree so it'll match nicely but i don't think we're going to have enough bite with the fasteners we purchased so again this uh free so far 350 dollars bridge when you add up all the lumber um we could have gotten away with decking uh which would have been a quarter inch thinner would have been another 25 bucks or so less but I just said, you know, I want the extra girth, and uh, that would have been uh, two by six. Would add the nice rounded edges, but to be honest with you, I think it's gonna look really nice when it's all done, but I gotta get to work with the chainsaw, try to take down some of these high points. And regrettably, this tree is probably gonna end up getting lost at some point. We had some points where we were having to use the bucket to lift these logs to, to clean up underneath and around, and we scraped along the side of that bark, so I don't know if we're gonna end up losing that tree or not. This one here seems to be doing well, and it's a pretty big tree, so like I said, we don't want to lose it. But this 
this is wide enough now to where I can drive a, a proper on-road vehicle across it. But I'm just not sure if the capacity is going to be there. So we'll have to do some testing safely. So anyway, we'll keep you along for the ride. Thanks for watching, guys. This is probably going to end up being a long video. So appreciate your patience. And then, by the way, this green-treated stuff was frozen together when we picked it up at the lumber yard. That was awesome. So we've got it propped up on end so that it can drain off. You can see over there. Um, all that stuff is wet. So we're trying to get that stuff dried off. Um, but a lot of times the green treated stuff is going to have a little bit of moisture in it from that uh, product that they force in under pressure. So we'll give you a quick look when we get some of these high points chopped down. All right, YouTube. So that process was horrible. As you can see from the sawdust in every direction and the chunks of wood flung and strewn in all directions also. I just got done chunks of a lid like this. I just got done cutting the knots, the high points that I could see off of the logs. And I'm sure I'll discover more as I go. Uh, the sawdust is kind of appreciated now because with this warm weather, um, having all the dirt scraped up has really made for kind of a muddy mess. But as you can see, I've just been cross hatching and then cutting out and trying to make flat spots. And I've got this board here. This is one of the two by two by tens. Um, like these ones, these superficial ones, they aren't even going to be providing support. They're more of a backup plan in case I have a failure, a massive failure. I want something to back up the, the main logs. But as you can see, even with the, the high points knocked down, there's still a pretty fair amount of wiggle here and just that tells me obviously that this this central beam is uh is gonna have to come down if i would like to share the load on the the other sides so in order to do that i have to pick up this main beam here the center one and i have to lift it up probably on this end because as you can see compared to ground level it's still up pretty good and uh, once I raise that one up then I can get the surface system made up better and then down like in this spot here there'll still be a, a natural low spot even with this lowered down a little bit that's still gonna be a low spot so that's my next move is to take this down yet a little bit more and part of the problem we've run into here is just old root structures. And then of course the, the current root structures from this tree have come out and encroached on my ability to lower that anymore. So over here, I think we had some honeysuckle, some pretty big honeysuckle, which is also how it's holding this bank in so good. And you can see there's the, where that tree was cut down. So that root structure is, there's actually several of them that were on the side here. That root structure has been a real pain, so I've been using a uh, pickaxe to fight those. But anyway, so I'm going to get the tractor over here and uh, lift that up. And we're going to go ahead and try to get that lifted up enough that I can get the shovel to it a little bit more. And uh, I think I'm going to need to drop it down by a factor of, if you look over here, you can see this is the, the gap you're looking at. So we're looking at about the about the thickness of the 2x4 or in this case a 2x10 and once I get that done then I can start running all my planking up and down the length and, and screwing it in. My plan is to put them at an angle in line with the water so if I come out here I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. This is on a bias compared to the the main flow of water so like this this board here will actually be more at an angle and so it will line up just right with the water flow and my plan is to start with which is probably gonna bite me I'm gonna start something like in the middle and then I'm gonna work my way over and I'm gonna work my, my way back and that way I've got decking to, to stand on and sit on and work from or rather kneel on and then when I get out to the end, I can just leave this exposed and we'll go ahead and add the concrete. But I really want everything tied together before I start locking it in with the concrete. 
because it's not impossible I would find a spot where I, I really need to get in and move a little bit more dirt here and drop it down just a hair. So I've already, already had to do that a couple of times. But my next step will be to throw a strap around this, lift it, and uh, excavate a little bit more and try to drop that down just another inch, maybe two inches. And uh, my hope is to not make a low point in the middle, but rather mitigate this so that it's all about even. And then again, we've got a little bit of a low point here as well. So we'll just have to shim those, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. You're not going to find perfect lumber. The only way I could get away from that is if I milled the top of this with a sawmill, which would be awesome. Uh, it's not practical for our, our situation. So anyway, that's about it, guys. I know this is going to end up being one of the long ones, and uh, there's no way to get around it. So if you want to see the details, this is how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, YouTube. We're back. It's Christmas Eve, 2019. We were just the last step. We were trying to dig out that end to make this middle log drop down. And I came to the conclusion after laying a couple of these out again that that might be a mistake because we've still got kind of a low point here. But by and large, I'm going to end up... I don't know if you guys can tell. I've already got a low point here. And it's just going to be certain spots where it's a little bit low. And then over here, we've got one of these pieces underneath. We're going to have to do a little bit more to clean up that notch there. There's kind of a, where a limb came off there. We're going to have to get that done. But then it's just, uh, otherwise it's pretty easy. Pretty easy to walk across. And obviously I have to, I have to figure out the exact angle that I want to put these boards at. I think I've decided that that tree is probably going to have to go, unfortunately. It's probably going to end up dying with the bark being damaged. And then this one that's down on the bank is about to come out because it's falling out of the bank. And it's it's ugly, too. It reaches over, and it's just ugly. This one over here looks good. This one's pretty. But we're going to have to take those out so they can get out of the way. And then later on, we might add... I'm not sure if I'm going to kick some of the bridge decking over a little bit and that way it starts out overhanging here and then ends up overhanging here or if i'm just going to favor right along this one log and that way if you drive a full-size vehicle across you can turn and you can avoid hitting your mirrors on the tree obviously this one's going to be gone but i just wanted to show you what it looked like it's going to look nice when it's done and then obviously when we get it all positioned then we'll start anchoring it down <laughs> And then as we go, we can lift one board and we can work this, the spot in front of it by either stacking these up or uh, using some other medium to build up the gap. I didn't. I thought maybe about doing bricks, but that might be a little bit too much. And uh, I'm not sure how it'll handle a heavy load. So that's where we are for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Signing out for today.